So, <laughs> Ben Shapiro was trending on Twitter today because apparently if you need to work two jobs to keep a roof over your head and food on the table, that's not an issue with what's going on in our country. That's a you problem. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take different topics going on in the world. Sometimes you know what's going on in YouTube or pop culture, but I really want to talk about what's going on in the political environment as well so we can see what lessons we can learn and how to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And real quick update. Remember those days, remember the good old days when people would get upset because I uploaded too much, sometimes two or even three videos a day? Like I haven't uploaded since Sunday and I'm just like, ah, I need to get a video out. But anyways, um, life is happening. YouTube demonetizes just about all of my videos <laughs> and the views aren't what they used to be. So I've been doing a lot of other work outside of YouTube and can't dedicate as much time here. So just know that I dedicated myself to doing my podcast daily so if you haven't yet, make sure you check it out. It's on Spotify, it's on Apple Podcasts, it's on Google Podcasts. Um, I also just made the YouTube channel for the podcast as well. So make sure you subscribe to that, whatever you wanna listen to it on, do your thing, boo. But if you miss your daily dose of Chris, make sure you're following that podcast. I talk about all sorts of different subjects on there. All right, so anyways, let's talk about this trending today um, with the Ben Shapiro. So. Like, here's here's the clip, all right? There's more context to it, but I don't know. Like, I, I went and looked at the whole thing and I was like, ah, eh, it's not too much different. But anyways, here's a clip that has people upset. Well, the fact is that if you had to work more than one job to have a roof over your head or food on the table, you probably shouldn't have taken the job that's not paying you enough. That'd be a you problem. Also, it is not true. The vast majority of people in the United States are working two jobs. It just is not true. According to the census statistics, a small but steady number of American workers have more than one job because either they need extra income or because they want to gain more experience or explore different interests. There's a recently released U.S. Census Bureau report, and apparently what it found is that approximately 8.3 percent, this is as of 2013, so it's, it's actually lower now, 8.3 percent of workers had more than one job. That was as of 2013. It's a lot lower now. So this notion that there are just tons and tons of people who are working at multiple jobs, it is not really true. It's not actually the reality. In May, 5% of Americans had multiple jobs, 5%. That's really what's bringing down the unemployment rate is those 5% of workers who have multiple jobs. Okay, for all of the talk about people working at Uber, it, it, it's, it's held to that range actually really since 2009. It's always been a very, very low number. So th this again is just a lie. It is also this, this bizarre idiocy that you can dictate to the economy what the economy ought to do. Every time everybody tries to dictate to the economy what it ought to do, the economy fights back because it turns out the aggregate knowledge of the market economy knows more than you do. So when I see this clip, I actually um, just finished the book from Trevor Noah. Well, my beautiful girlfriend and I, Tristan, we uh, just finished that book. Um, we got the audio book. I highly recommend it. Uh, word on the street is they might adapt it to like a movie or something like that, it's amazing. But um, I'm thinking about doing a book review on it. So if you want me to, let me know down in the comments below. But anyways, there's a part in there where he talks about like, we're taught that, you know, if you catch a fish for a man, he eats for a day. If you teach a man how to fish, he eats for a lifetime. But something that, you know, Trevor Noah talks about growing up in South Africa, like if you teach a man to fish, but you don't give him the tools to go fishing, it's not going to do much good. And that is why I feel personally that a lot of people are upset, you know, that Ben Shapiro is saying this. Like, I, I'm going to, at the end of this video, I'm going to talk about what I hope he meant, but I understand and empathize with people who are upset with this. Like, there are massive problems in the United States with you know, um, how the, the rich get richer, the, the middle class is starting to be poor, and all that kind of stuff. And a lot of it, and I really noticed this um, a few years ago, a lot of what happens in the world, or just in the United States specifically, I'm sure it happens in other places in the world too, like they try to get us, me and you, 
to turn against each other, right? I'll never forget. I don't even know if this was a fake story, but whatever it was, it made sense. So when employees from McDonald's started like striking and they wanted a $15 an hour minimum wage, like everybody was like, oh my God, you're just a fast food employee. I do this and I don't get paid that much. I do that and don't get paid that much. And somebody, um, there were a firefighter or an EMT, something like that, they said, listen, like we're all fighting and bickering against each other. We're arguing over who gets the last piece of pie, but we need to be looking at the ones running the show and ask them why the pie isn't bigger, right? And that's what we need to be asking. Like you guys, like when we look at these gigantic corporations, such as, you know, Walmart, such as Amazon and things like that, like, why are they not paying these people more, right? And, you know, I understand the argument of, you know, the qualifications for that job and everything, but we also need to understand, like, it is just blatantly ignorant, and I feel that Ben Shapiro comes off as extremely privileged, but it's, it's ignorant to act like everybody has the same opportunities, because that's not true. Like, some of you know I'm half black, and like, I guess you could say that I'm fortunate that I look white, you know what I mean? But it is a it is a harder path for minorities in this country. It's a harder path for people who grow up in poverty in this country. And one of the reasons I've been talking about politics on my channel is because like pay attention to what politicians are talking about. You know what I mean? Like pay attention and see what you agree with, what you disagree with and all that stuff. Um, I talked about some of these topics in the Andrew Yang video I did just the other day, and I'm gonna to touch on my boy, Andrew Yang, in a second um, soon. But everybody tries to act like they don't have the money. It's like, trust me, there's money, all right? But one of the things that we need to talk about is there's some candidates running on the idea of free college, right? Like, think about that. Think about giving people the opportunity, right? Like, I think one of the biggest issues is pessimism versus optimism, right? You have pessimists who would say, oh, well, you know, you make free college and people don't gotta work for it and da 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 da. Or like one of the biggest things is that people are gonna take advantage of the system. And study after study has proven that that's not the case, right? Like how many kids out there want to go to college but can't, they can't afford it? Either A, they don't want crippling student loan debt that's gonna weigh on them for decades after they graduate, or B, they can't afford to pay out of pocket, right? But think about the opportunity that would create and the qualifications people would have to get better jobs, right? And then you look at somebody like Andrew Yang, who's talking about the freedom dividend, right? A thousand dollars a month, so all adults, you know, in the United States will get an extra $12,000 a year. And here's what a lot of people fail to understand with that, okay? It's, it's not about just like giving money to lazy people, but you need to understand, and they did a, a study on this in Canada that I referenced last time. When people are more secure financially, then that forces employers to be better, right? Because you don't need to take that crappy job. Did you know did you know, based on a Gallup research study, 50% of people, all right, are just going through the motions of their job, just like mindlessly, right? And 25% of people hate their job, okay? So there's 75% of people who spend most of their life doing something that isn't fulfilling to them, right? Now imagine if people had more freedom to choose where they worked, or their working conditions had to be better because they're not depending on getting this crappy job. Like for a really long time in this country, I really noticed it during the recession, like right around the time my son was born in 2008, employers, especially since then, have been getting away with whatever because we're just like, give me a job, give me a job. Uh, I, I don't care how you treat me, I'll do whatever it takes, right? And that's an issue, okay? But. Like I said, it's it's ignorant to not look at how, you know, employees at Walmart still need to get government assistance because they're not making as much and things like that. Like, but again, like I mentioned, I do I do hope I understand what Ben Shapiro was trying to say and maybe he phrased it poorly. Because if you actually watch 
the video or the interview that Ben Shapiro did with Andrew Yang. Like, it is a nice, chill, calm conversation. They, you know, they, they respect one another's opinions and they talk cordially and everything like that. Um, ben Shapiro has the, you know, uh, <laughs> the problem of like riling people up. But if you watch that, you're like, oh, there's a, there's, a, there's a decent bend inside there. But I just wanna share a quick story about myself. Um, and some of you have heard me share this before. Like I, I'm a big believer in personal accountability, but I also recognize that there's issues in this country. So in the state of Nevada, when I was growing up, there was a huge uh, tobacco settlement across the United States. But in the state of Nevada, we had something called the Millennium Scholarship. All right, and all you needed was like a B or a C average. And you would get pretty much a full ride scholarship to UNR in Reno or UNLV here in Las Vegas, all right? But I dicked off throughout high school. I didn't get the Millennium Scholarship. Like all of my friends were getting like all this grant money to go to school and I didn't have that. You know what I mean? And I, I've been taught, you know, in my recovery journey, in my mental health recovery journey as well, that a lot of things are my fault. A lot of the situations that I'm currently in are based on really dumb decisions I made in the past. So I can't blame, you know, the system entirely for my position because I had opportunity and I slapped it right in the face. You know, so don't don't get me wrong, there are people like that out there. I get it and I have to take responsibility for that. But but I believe that everybody, you know, especially if you're working full time, you should be making a livable wage. All right? That's something that should happen. And you should at least have the opportunity to better yourselves. Like, I'm not I'm not this person who thinks that everybody's just going to, you know, work their butts off and work like some people are lazy. Some people are just lazy. But we need to give people the opportunity to progress if they want to. And a lot of that comes from the companies that people work for. Are those companies allowing people to work their way up? Like the last thing I'll say, like McDonald's, you can work your way up. There are people at McDonald's making bank. You get a company car, right? All sorts of stuff. But anyways, I would love to know your thoughts on this subject down in the comments below. I will do some YouTube related co uh, content really soon here. So make sure that you stay tuned for that if you're you know, not too into this political stuff. But anyways, again, don't forget to check out the description and the pinned comment down below for all the information about the podcast. I'm doing that daily, but I'm gonna try to get a few days worth of videos in, all right? But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You're all amazing. and. If you're a patron, go check out the website. I just made a post. I'm doing some revamping to the Patreon and I want your suggestions. So if you are a patron, make sure you go check that out because I'm going to be doing some new perks and benefits and all that stuff. If you want to become a patron, boom, link right there. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.